Shakers are known primarily for their architecture and for their simple way of life. Here we are at South Union Shaker Village uh, in Logan County and uh, you can see some uh, amazing furniture here that they've built like the chest that's behind me as well as the uh, the beds. There's just so much furniture that is, it's just incredible. Uh, they were true, true craftsmen. One of the things that was noted about the Shakers at uh, South Union in the tour was how that they were a little unorthodox when it came to their furniture design. And we can see in here, in this sister's retiring room, some of the more ornate designs uh, that you can see like in the bed behind me, as well as the uh, chests that are in this room. And it, it really adds a nice touch to a lot of the furniture that they made. It's a little uh, a little non-traditional uh, considering how most shaker furniture was but it's uh, very very solid craftsmanship very nice looking ornate furniture and uh, I, I think that some of these would probably make some uh, good project ideas for the future Let's look at uh, some of the true craftsmanship of the shakers. This uh, small chest is a real good example. Uh, it's you know it's not very tall, but it's some of the craftsmanship that goes into it is incredible. We can see on the top this is one solid board, full width board, and uh, just on down the sides the way that this. Uh, is assembled more than likely on the sides I would say that those rails are dadoed into the side of the case and we can see the hand turned knobs uh, just how well that the drawers are fit into this case this is just a very nice piece this is definitely something that we're going to uh, try to build in the future. Uh, I've been wanting to build one of these small chests for a while. And uh, this is uh, just a real nice piece. Uh, we can see the hand turn feet that the chest is setting on. And this is just a, a, a very nice, very nice piece. And of course, when you use a board as wide as what this one is, after a long period of time you can see a crack develop in the wood which we see here but still that is just it's still this piece is just incredible this is a real nice piece uh, I think it would be a nice project to do and uh, you know piece this up this old that crack it's that's just character that's that's something that I don't think anyone would mind uh, seeing in a piece such as this. One thing that you will notice on a lot of the traditional chairs made by the Shakers, uh, the chairs were not straight up and down. They had a slight angle to them, uh, leaning back just slightly, ever so slightly. 
and it made for some uh, very interesting chairs. This is a very traditional uh, shaker, shaker style chair that we see here. It's one that's seen uh, in a lot of the communities um, and it's, it's just a very nice piece. The top of this desk illustrates uh, just how uh, they would do a lot of their furniture. We can see very clearly from the grain patterns on this table. That is just one huge board uh, that makes the top uh, all hand planed, uh, no joints. And this one, considering its age, there does not appear to be any cracks whatsoever. It looks like a very well preserved piece. We do see just a little bit of curling on the end, but a piece of this old and no telling for use for however many years. This is, it is very, very nice, very well maintained piece. Here we can see some of the looms where the shakers made a lot of their uh, fabrics, a lot of their cloths. Uh, this knitting loom here, uh, very well preserved, very nice piece, uh, very large. And uh, this, this entire room was dedicated to uh, sewing. Uh, and we can see it's just all the equipment they had in here. We see this very large chest in the center of the room for storage. We see the small desk and chair over by the wall. Very, very, very nice. And once again, we have one of the many chests over by this wall. And as well as the storage built in. We see a real good example of uh, the style of construction that the Shakers used. Uh, this drawer here the uh, has been dovetailed. Those are hand cut dovetails. Uh, that is true craftsmanship right there. That is something that takes a, a lot of time, a lot of effort to do. Uh, those dovetails are cut with uh, chisels and uh, hand saws. Uh, that's and uh, that's that's very very nice and every one of those drawers is done the same and every one of the pieces that we've seen in this blanket chest as well we see the dovetail joinery and uh, a little bit of the ornate design on the base again this is something that isn't necessarily a traditional shaker it's a little more unorthodox a little more common for uh, the, the uh, shakers here at South Union. Uh, very, very nice pieces. Now we are in the broom shop uh, here at the Shaker Village, and uh, this behind me here is one of the original straw type brooms. We're in the workshop where they actually made these. You can see some of the equipment behind me. Just some of the simple things that were really interested and really uh, highlighted some of the craftsmanship uh, can be seen in here that we uh, see you know, with the brooms, with the machinery. They embrace technology uh, quite a bit more than uh, what one may think, but uh, they did embrace a lot of the newer technology of their day. Uh, the house had electricity, it had a, uh, indoor plumbing, uh, and uh, so they did embrace a lot of uh, newer technology. Uh, it, it's still nice to see how that they would uh, keep to some of their original craftsman roots and some of the things that they made. Here on this uh, chest of drawers, uh, very, very nice, another very nice piece. We see the way this one was assembled is using a half dovetail that joint adds a lot of strength 
Yeah, it really holds the case together. You've seen me do this on some of the projects that I've done, and uh, this is a uh, very tried and true method of joining wood. It's just a very, very nice piece. And that half dovetail adds a bit of interest as well as a, a lot of strength to the construction of this unit. the steam house uh, where they would actually cook uh, feed for their cattle, for their livestock, we see a very uh, utility utilitarian table here, but even it has some interesting features. We see our joints, it's mortise and tenon joints, and it is held together just by these two pins. Uh, and it's a very, very solid piece. The legs are not straight either. They are actually slightly beveled, which on a uh, piece such as this, you wouldn't think that they would put that much effort into it, but uh, they, they certainly did. It's quite, quite a nice piece here as well.